All right. Hey guys, hey. Um, it's been a while. I know it's been a while. So I just wanted to jump on here because I've been home for probably about a week. Been here in Denver and um, I've been home because I've been battling some allergy stuff. Some This storm came through and then everybody started having some allergy things happen. So I've been home. I'm still a little nasally. I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on. I haven't gone anywhere for leisure since my London trip. <laughs> and uh, that was March, I think. I did the London trip in March and then I did a day trip to LA to get my hair trimmed and shaped. And that's been it. That's been it. Uh, so why has that been it? That's been it because my cup has been dry. I was, you know, they say you can't pour from an empty cup. My cup was bone dry. It was, and it's been dry for a bit. So I just took some time to really spend time with my family and my inner circle. So the days that I was off, the the weeks that I was off, because I tend to keep a week off every month, I went back to Atlanta and spent time with family and friends. And it was what I needed. It was just, it was just what I needed. Um, my family was having different things that I wanted to attend. I had some friends who were having, you know, birthdays and, and things that I wanted to be with them. I've had some friends who are going through some things and I just wanted to spend some time with them. I, and when I say friends, it's my inner circle. My, my inner circle of my chosen family who have been with me in this lifetime for decades. And, um, and I just really wanted to spend some time with them. So, um, yeah. So April, May, June, July, and August, there were baby showers. There was lunches with friends. There was Ikea runs. There was misunderstandings. There was <laughs> misunderstandings in where we were going to meet up and uh, where we were walking to because I had my big girl shoes on and we were on the, we were on the, what is it? The, uh, the belt line in Atlanta walking. Um, it was just a lot of, there was a baby shower. My cousin had a baby. And there was just a lot of, of, community and a lot of things that I really, really, really needed in that moment. So that's what I did. And I did that because I, I needed to refill my cup. And also because I don't know if you guys figured it out or not, but I work in aviation and that means that we fly non-rev. So very quickly, that means that if there are seats available on a flight, we list ourselves for that flight. As long as we are above the number of people listed that, that are have empty flight, empty seats, then we can get on that flight. But this summer, there were a lot of storms in the Northeast. There were a lot of pop-up storms all over the United States. There were a lot of freak storms that happened, you know, Hurricane Hillary and, and you know, there was a, what was it? Um, um, whatever the storm was that came through Japan and people were getting stranded. Non-rails were getting stranded because when flights cancel, all of those people have to be filtered into those other flights. So if you're flying standby, if you're flying non-rev, you're not going to make it. And a lot of people did not make their flights this summer. And your girl, they, I ain't about that life. I, I'm not going to be stressed out when I go leisure travel. So I decided to stay closer to home. I decided to stay closer to my inner circle and my family and get loved on and cared on and spend some quality time with the community that meant that means a lot to me and that's what I did so now that my cup has been rebuilt a bit a little bit and I'm still going through kind of the five-year blahs or the five-year funk is what we call it 
And a lot of people have been asking me about that too. And yes, I'm battling the five year funk. So I'm not working as much. I'm working less. I'm spending more time with family. And this fall, I will be back at it. I will be back out there doing some leisure travel. I had to decide what I wanted this YouTube thing to be because it came about when I was traveling for my birthday and my family wanted to know where I was and what I was doing. So I started posting videos for them and that's what I did here. And um, that's kind of how it came about. But then I don't want it to be a flight attendant channel. This is not a flight attendant channel. There are tons of people out there. They're doing it. They're doing it well. And I have, I have watched them for many, many years. And that niche is out there and people are doing well with it. But that's not what I want my little space to be. My little space is going to be travel. Travel as a woman. Travel solo travel. Um, traveling as a woman of color to places in the world. Because that is a unique experience as a woman, as an American woman of color going to different places in this world, especially solo travel. So that's kind of what I'm thinking that might morph into something different and it might not. But hopefully, hopefully um, you'll stick around and we'll see what happens. And I think that's it for now. I just wanted to pop on and say hello. I'm still here. Things are still good. And uh, I'll see you in a couple weeks as we go somewhere, somewhere good. But it's always somewhere good, right? So I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.